So <laughs> Rachel's about to go in the other room because I'm so nervous to take our first video because we're not really selfie type video people. <laughs> but um, we want to record this as awkward as it may be. So we have this to help us, so we're not that worried. Anyway, so um, we have prepared for our journey since late September, since September, and uh, now we're uh, right here in the middle of things, getting ready to take off right at our first stop, and uh, we kind of wanted to do a video about the realities of the first day, because it has not been the funnest ever, although it's been kind of fun and kind of silly and kind of ridiculous, and a lot of stupid stuff goes into learning how to do an RV and how to run it and there's so many different components like a house on wheels like most people live in houses and they don't even know how to do anything in their house they're like okay I put something in the oven and it just works but this is like all on wheels and it's all complicated and everything's all wired crazy and uh, we've had a heck of a time but uh, we just wanted to give the reality side of what our first day was so that our friends and family who have kind of followed our snap story a little bit and seen a sneak peek of what we're up to, uh, now we're going to give you our uh, first day. So Rachel, why don't you start us off with uh, how, how it started. How it first started, we were finishing up packing up the house and my brother came over to say goodbye, give us hugs, wish us off and take a video and um, I was checking the lights on the Jeep making sure everything was connected with the RV. Jenna's in the driver's seat, we got the walkie talkies and we're like all souped up. We're we got like walkie talkies. Go. Rachel's yeah, outside. I'm, like, I'm inside. Oh, four. I'm, I'm in the RV. <laughs> we're all cool. We're using like little walkie talkie we're, slingo. We're ready to go. We're ready to rip. So the lights are ready. My brother's in his truck. He's They're giving their video. final hugs. Like I'm, I'm witnessing the final brother hug, and I'm like, come on in, babe. So we're ready to go. I wave goodbye. Go up to the door. Try to open it. Doesn't open. So I'm like. On the walkie talkie I'm like baby gotta unlock the door and she's like what do you mean it is unlocked so she puts the car in park turns it off tries the door again doesn't work so we're like what's going on so long story short spend about 15 minutes or so let's take a second to, to discuss how this normally works is how it normally works is you go up to the door it's a simple just and then the stairs pop out and then you go we've not had a one single issue had this RV for five months now, not had a single issue with opening the door and walking out the steps and having just, we're level, we're ready to go. So not a single issue has happened yet. But here we are taking off on our adventure and Rachel is locked out. I'm locked RV. out, she's in the RV, three cats, one dog. Oh, I guess RV. we should, oh, ready to wait. go. We should also point out that there is one single door into this entire RV. It's 35 feet long. There's one single door. There's some fire escape windows in the bedroom and there's some big windows up front. That's it. That's it. That's it. So That's if the door doesn't work and we have a dog and three cats in here, we got a problem. We would have to kick it down we got if, a problem. if we had to. So I tried to open the door. It's locked. Long story short, we try to use a screwdriver and a couple things to get the door open. Doesn't work. So we open the passenger side do uh, window and my brother lifts me up, gets me in. <laughs> There's a video so, to prove it. Oh. There's a video to prove it. Yeah, we'll, we'll share that later. So I get into the get into the RV. Climb through the window. We take off. We're like, all right, we'll just figure it out later. I start YouTube and stuff. I'm looking stuff up, trying to figure out how to. Meanwhile, open a door when you can't even move the the, the knob. Nothing was working. You know, I guess we didn't really cover how like. At the time when we were there and we realized the door wouldn't open, we completely deconstructed the door. And I seen the mechanism working like just fine. Like you think the handle and then it pulls a trigger that releases the door. No. Was not releasing. Her brother's outside with a screwdriver. Like the door is literally not releasing. We thought there was like this magnetic strip that was like prohibiting it from opening. 
And it was not locked. Everybody keeps it asking that. Yeah, too. everybody keeps asking, was it locked? No. No, we're, we're not, not that dumb. Literally <laughs> stupid. Like, do we know RV stuff? Eh, we're getting there. But it was not locked. It was not locked. And we deconstruct the whole thing. Basically, Rachel crawled through the window and we took off to Jackson and then uh, met with my family. That's the next chapter. Next chapter, chapter two. Jenna drove here like a pro. Like a pro. First time. First time with the GP. With the Jeep in the back. On the back. Drove here good. It was about 30 minutes or so. Yep. And we got here. We knew pulling up to the driveway that the door wasn't going to open. So we had her dad come down, get a ladder so we could climb out the window. Uh, he ended up coming in, trying to help us with the door, trying to see if he could figure anything out, look at the fuses. Um, we looked at all angles. We posted things on our uh, Facebook RV groups. A lot of people were very helpful. Like they responded, like on our drive from Lansing to Jackson, we had like over 10 responses of different ideas. And no idea is really stupid because you don't know exactly, like, you can't see what somebody's seeing in an RV. So like if you've gone through something similar, you might just pop your advice into there. And like, that is useful because you never know what person's advice is going to lead you to the right answer so we appreciate all of the answers and we end up finding the real answer on a youtube video and our door was just basically completely broken there's a magnetic piece a uh what is that thing called this slides over it has some cool fancy metal name basically ours was like aluminum and plastic and not that cool and uh, it broke, so there was no way for that door to unlock. And it just happened randomly. Like it, it, just, so, it randomly. just so happened to be literally the last pull that I was going to do on the door to get in to say goodbye to East Lansing. Really? And it was Deuces. It was and they so, like, ha ha ha, climb through the kidding. window though. <laughs> Safe so, travels. Yeah, so that, Thanks. So that didn't work out. So once we got to Jackson, we ended up unhooking the Jeep and backing into her parents' driveway. And then we worked on the door for probably Forever. two hours. We worked Your on the door, we deconstructed here. it, we basically ripped it apart, took a screwdriver in, we watched the YouTube video, smash that thing to smithereens inside basically, kept one deadbolt that'll keep it locked, took that spring mechanism out, and uh, now our door functions yeah it's not great but it's it's gonna do until we can get to an rv repair shop and the only way that it closes securely is if we hold it closed and, and then, then lock it. it otherwise it doesn't latch shut it'll close it doesn't deadbolt we have cats we need a deadbolt and then in the meantime of all this we tried to level the rv and it kept showing low voltage on the message center of the system so low voltage and that was another headache a whole that snack we were thing. trying so to So leveling out. is super important when you're in an RV and we couldn't level, which meant our generator couldn't work, which meant there was like a whole slew of things. That, one thing that just kept going one into another. One thing it was snowballed we were like, into another thing and we had no idea what the original snowball starter was. So we had no idea like why all these other things were happening. And uh, we spent what was supposed to be quality time with the family, like just wrenching over this RV in the dark, in the cold. It's cold, it's Michigan. Why are we RVing? Because we don't want to be here. <laughs> we want to go, we're getting out of here. We're going south, we're getting to the warmer weather and we're here in super breeze. It's so windy, it's so cold. It just bites your skin and uh, so we're dealing with that, but my family was, they were, they were all troopers and, uh, her dad climbed through the window. Yeah, my dad out. is not small. And, uh, <laughs> actually I'll give you a reference point. Turn that light on real quick. And you might have to pull that curtain back and touch. We'll give you a little reference point to, uh, the size of this window. The size of the window that my dad climbed through right there. About that's like a, that. that. Yep. That's about it. <laughs> And then there's this cutie. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah. Family just climbing in and out of uh, 
the RV window. We we thought we were gonna come down here and be rock stars and just be like, "What's up, we guys? Let's this. crack a beer and we're let's ready go." Ready to go? No, we had a complete disaster for about six hours. Um, it ended up being a switch on our auxiliary batteries. It was basically in storage or vacation mode, and we didn't realize it. So the batteries were charging as the engine was running, and it also was charging when we were hooked up to electricity, like, for example, at our house when we were parked there to load up all of our stuff. Uh, the RV was hooked up to our house, but the batteries were not getting the full capacity of power that it could have gotten if it would have been in, like, what's like the normal mode or whatever. It's basically like the batteries had so many volts of energy to give out, but we didn't know that this switch, you had to switch to make all that power go places. And we've been missing out for months. And uh, yeah. But thankfully we figured that out. And now the leveling system does not show low voltage, fingers crossed. We have heat. Hopefully it won't anymore. This is heated. I yeah. think we're at like now 65 degrees. This is the first time we've had heat. Our fridge has cold milk. I mean, we're crushing it now. But first day was not super fun. And I know that this was like a very short version of like what we went through. But it was stupid. And it was like just kind of embarrassing because we wanted to be like these badass travelers and like we've done our research we're not like these amateur RV we are amateur RVers but like we kind of know some stuff and then we got here and it was like everything crashed and burned and we're like why is this happening right now like we're packed the animals are in here we're ready to go why is this happening and that was a simple switch so honestly I think we're grateful Grateful for it to happen here rather than stranded somewhere or on the highway yeah. or the, the Jeep fell off the, the Grateful trailer. to have like family and yeah. a warm meal it could have been and worse. a warm house to go into and just really good support to to get us going. It's hard when you have a schedule too. Like you have we have these plans, we have these reservations that we have to meet. Yeah, you're probably like, oh, why does it matter? Yeah. Well, because, because we have everything booked for the next two months, and, like, the further we fall behind, the more we have to change reservations, which is the more complicated it becomes, and the more campgrounds are mad at you, or people that we're boondocking at are like, well, oh, you said you were going to be here, and we're going to be home, and that sort of thing. So, like, we don't want to, like, we want to kind of adhere to a plan. Like, we're not just free-ranging out here. We're, we got something we want to do, and, uh. So it's very important for us to leave for Indianapolis tomorrow. And now I think we can. Well, just, just, well, flip of a switch Remember just that solves switch. all your problems. You just gotta look That's things it. up on YouTube. You gotta post stuff on these uh, RV Facebook groups because yeah. everybody gives tips, everybody has advice. And I mean, those are just. You can just learn through experience. You can learn through experience. You can learn from other people's experience. And, I mean, we knew that we weren't going to just be smooth sailing the whole time, but yeah. we did not expect the first trip. We didn't expect, like, literally we were ready. Like, we had the Jeep. We hooked the Jeep up, and we'll do a separate video on that. But, like, that is a whole debacle in and of itself. We got that hooked up in less than five minutes, and we were like, let's go. We were so ready. Rachel Couldn't even open the door, and <laughs> I was like, all right. Psych not getting in so hey man you just roll with it and uh i'm like rachel said we're very grateful that we were here in jackson with family on family property we had my dad who knows how to fix stuff and he doesn't know rvs but he helped us and he stayed calm and uh it was a really good spot uh to keep us level-headed and um keep our eye on the the bigger idea of the journey, which is to not get frustrated over every single little thing because there's going to be a million little things that we can get pissed about every, I mean, I can name 10 right now, probably this carpet is curled. This room, hate it. Need to vacuum again. Need to vacuum. <laughs> there's mud on the floor. I don't know. Like there's like, if I want to be mad during this trip, I trust me, I could be angry the entire time, but you know what? There's mud on my feet because I was out there hooking up a Jeep and I know how to hook up a Jeep to a camper. That's why there's mud in the camper. Like, I don't, I don't care. 
Like, it's, it's just going to be as it is what it is, and we're going to roll with it. And uh, day one was nothing like we expected. Nothing like we expected. We woke up this morning thinking... We finally felt good after two days of uh, kind of stress. Like, you're moving a huge house into a little house and then leaving the other house. And you have to... There's just a lot that goes into it. And then, like I said, we're learning so many different things about a home on wheels. So, I think we crushed it. I think we kept a basically positive attitude. I might have gotten lucky a couple times working on it. Um... But I think we're going to be okay. I think that this little switch that we had to turn is literally going to solve a lot of our problems down the road. So if we go to level next time and it doesn't say low voltage, it's going to be literally that Then switch. we know. Then we know exactly what it is. So it's just a learning process and it's all about not getting super frustrated at every step of the way because you couldn't do... I We just started like this is one i don't want to act like i'm some pro rv'er but you could not do this if you were an overly stressful person oh no there's no way one thing led it led to another this entire the, for the first five hours that we got here it was like this happened okay now let's check this and then that was an issue it was literally just like bad news after bad news after bad news after bad news and uh Oh, well, let's start the generator, because that'll help this. Oh, the generator won't start. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, let's we didn't do... even talk about the generator. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Basically, the generator was after we tried to level. Generator wouldn't start. And then we were just like, literally, Why? what? what is Why? happening? We always, like, it's literally just like you hit a button, and the generator goes, Poo! and then you have power. Oh, no. After everything else that's going around, the generator's like, nah, not today, because. And we're like. We looked at the great. manual. Just great. We looked at articles on these RV forums. We read we through looked... all of our manual, like what is it, owner manuals? Yeah. Like we're reading, we're reading stuff. We're watching YouTube videos, and it takes some combing through. But honestly, you will find what you need online. And uh, I would highly recommend the Facebook groups because people really do like when they know you're in trouble and you need somebody with something they're gonna respond or they're gonna ask somebody that knows because they know like either they've been in that spot or they know how things go on the road or they've had other things happen to them where they're like they don't want somebody to feel like especially when we're starting out because we made that clear in the post like we're just starting out like we're literally taking off and like we're just getting shit on and um so i would i would recommend uh being part of those groups and just kind of voicing your thoughts and then if you have an answer obviously answer people because people are out there desperate like we were like made a facebook post and like i hope somebody responds by the time we get to jackson so that we have something to start with has anybody been through the same thing or did they have any suggestions because i mean some people would say something stupid like oh did you make sure the doors were unlocked and it's like yes and so you know, we just have to read things and just kind of like filter through it and just see if there's a way that we can make that fix through that or, you know, you look online, but it's just trial and error. Yeah, it's trial really, and error. It's really uh, all it is. A learning curve, I would yeah. say. And uh, we're going to keep plucking. And uh, tomorrow we're going to try to get a new door mechanism. If we can't get it, we're going to keep rolling with our deadbolt. We're headed south, folks. I'm tired of the cold. I am so tired of how I felt today. I cannot wait to be in New Orleans on Tuesday. Wow. February 17th. No. Something later. Regardless, cannot wait to be down south on the Gulf Coast. Hopefully some crazy weather doesn't come through and we just have seven degree weather with salt water on our feet and uh we're super excited we're trying to stay positive um and we're gonna keep you guys updated try to make it fun try to make it real we're gonna have not just sitting on the couch videos we're gonna have some like live in action videos where we're hiking where we're trying to fix something we want to have 
yeah. different types of videos where it's like in action and we can be like, hey, I was confused about this. This is how you do it. We learned this. And we can like show it. We can show how to hook up the Jeep. Yeah. Um, Who doesn't want to watch us hook up? But we also Jeep? like to just do. Everybody does. We also just like to have like recaps at the end of the day too. So it'll be like a mixture of stuff. Yeah. But. Well, you guys will help journey. us journal our way through this. So, uh. Hope you got a couple laughs, smiles, whatever emotion you might have felt through that video, and uh, wish us well. Send a ton of positive vibes. Um, we're definitely gonna be sharing. Like the more you send to us, the more we can share across the country. Just think about it that way, because we are not trying to travel the country and be any type of way except kind and free spirited and loving and adventurous, and that's our goal. So more good energy that we can uh, spread around and receive to us is going to be better because clearly we're going to need it. Day one. It was rough. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks day one. Didn't give us much hope, but no. we're good though. We have, we're a, good. We have a good base yep. and, and we got we're a good straight team. and we are so, so excited to share this journey. We'll share some pics uh, from our departure and um, catch back up with you guys uh, we're staying at a pretty cool boondocking spot tomorrow night so if we're chilling we'll make another video about um we got probably about a five hour drive tomorrow which is a little bit long for what we wanted in the rv but um we're gonna switch drivers and pull over and do all the, the stuff that you're supposed to do to make sure that you're safe behind the wheel and uh comfortable and things like that so we have a pretty cool spot for tomorrow if we're chilling We'll make another uh, video about our drive and some things that happened on day two. Uh, but for now, got any closing thoughts, Miss Rachel? Just, Miss Rachel. just uh, follow us and enjoy learning from us. We're gonna share our raw and open emotions. It's kind of gonna be like a, almost like a live feed but it's just gonna be like a recap because we're just gonna show our real self. Yeah, and we're not trying to make fancy videos. We're not. Not doing editing and everything. It's just kinda gonna be yeah, just see, like, yes, we this got is what happened. T-shirts, we got ball caps. We want people to learn from us, but we also want people just to see our journey that can't be right by our side, so. Yeah. That's about it. We want all of you to be able to experience like who we are through the videos not trying to like act like we're sitting here posing for a video even though it's very awkward i was very nervous to make this video yeah this is probably terrible but it's okay <laughs> hold on hold on let's zoom into this real quick this is adorable little mini taco and a carter boy he's a yeah he's cute so anyway, um, we'll introduce you to all of our animals in a video yeah. too. We, there's we so to much more to come and we're going to tell you why we're going on this journey and all that, but we wanted to do a day one thing. I know a lot of people are like, what are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. So who are you? This is what we have to learn. <laughs> who are you? <laughs> we'll get to that. But anyway, you know, day one and uh, here we are. We're going to try to get some rest. It's super late and uh, take off for our duty tomorrow. Can't wait. Catch you tomorrow.